from Jonesboro, Arkansas in my 2015 Chevy Volt, Voltamort. Summer and EVs go good together. I have driven on this tank of gas 1,968.8 miles. I'm going to hit 2,000 on my way to Harrisburg, actually on the way back from Harrisburg to eat at Sonic today, which is about uh, 42, 43 miles. I'll be looking at this along the way and figuring 44.4 miles, maybe a little bit less, I'll be home. Because I sometimes do that to decide whether to use hold mode or not on the highway. It says I have 44 miles, which should be enough to get there. But if I actually go 58 and 60 on the highway, I won't get 44 miles. Nope, won't do it. God bless our country and our flag. I like this street. It's really peaceful looking. Nice looking street. Speed them is 40, 45, and I'm going 40. There is a good few miles where it's this kind of road to get to Harrisburg the way I go. You know, so maybe I will make it with 44, you know, with 44 miles on the original battery indicator. This car's got behind me, so I'm gonna speed up to 44. Speed them at 45. That's close enough. They'll have to deal with it. You hear that car? truck close enough it's a nice day out so I've got the window down which I figure probably takes more energy than running a battery because of the loss of aerodynamics so maybe I should roll my window up and turn the air on a little bit but if it's a nice day I enjoy having the windows down if you're not going too fast going too fast it just gets too loud it just feels nice Whee! Here we are at Harrisburg, Sonic right up here. You can probably see it. 19.9 miles, it's gonna be right at 20 miles to the Sonic. So it's 40 miles round trip. I'm gonna make it. And I am um, on the highway doing 55. Most times there's no cars behind me, so I drove about 50. So I know what the naysayers are gonna say. They're gonna say the only way I got 2,000 miles on the tank is by hypermiling. Nope, now there are times if I'm not in a hurry and there's no traffic or very little traffic behind me, I mean, I, as long as I'm not holding anybody up, I won't hold even one person up. So it's a four lane road. Sometimes I'll get in the right lane. If it's 60, I may go, you know, 50, 52 if I'm not in a hurry. But the thing about 2,000 miles on a tank in this car, that would be easy, absolutely easy for some of you and impossible for the others. It all comes down to your commute and how you drive it you know, so don't be thinking I'm getting 2,000 miles on a tank because I drove like an old grandma or an old grandpa, not to be sexist. An old grand person. There we go. Hashtag offended. Okay. So, anyway, what I'm getting at is it all depends on how you drive. I mean, I'm getting 5.6, I've used 5.6 gallons of gas in this time. And on the way back, when we hit 2,000, we'll run some numbers and see what my MPG is. And we'll also talk about, let me turn my headlights off. We'll also talk about um, what the car actually gets in real miles per gallon if you just run it on generator only. Dang, I'm gonna get me a bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, I don't need it, I'm fat, but I'm getting it anyway. Awesome. I'm parked next to an alumni of Hogwarts. I've always wanted to teach muggle studies there. It'd be an awesome job. Okay, let's talk about numbers. Now, see right here, the computer does not show more than 250 miles per gallon. It'll never do that, so you can just calculate on our own. But, it doesn't separate the electricity from the uh, gas. Like, it, you know, the, the 2015 volt will not tell you you drove X number of miles in electricity and X number on gas. It, it won't do it. Now, if you have OnStar, it keeps up with it, but, you know, man, you rich people that can afford OnStar, God bless you. That stuff's expensive. But anyway, I can pretty much know. If I'm running around in town, I may get five miles per kilowatt hour. 
If I'm going 65 miles an hour, I'll probably get about three and a third, 3.4. You know, maybe three and a half. So I'm thinking the average, I think four is a nice good number. I think it may be a little more than that, but we'll say four. So 2,000 divided by four is easy, that's 500. So, you know, we've used 500 kilowatt hours to push on this tank of gas, we'll say. 500 kilowatt hours. Use 500 kilowatt hours times four miles per kilowatt hour, that's easy math. And then eight cents a kilowatt hour. Well, that's $40, you know, because 500 times 10 cents, that's easy, 50 bucks. Well, you know, 80% of that, 40. 80% of 50 is 40, that's simple. But anyway, 40 beckons for electricity to go 2,000 miles. Now, as far as the uh, gas, you know, 5.6 gallons. How much, how much is 1,998.4 divided by 5.6? 1,998.4 divided by 5.6 is 356.8571. There you go. That's what I'm getting. 356.5724 or something. That's a lot. That's a lot of gas. I mean, that's a lot of gas mileage. You know, that that's a lot. But like I said, some of you will get more than that. Some of you will get less than that. It all depends on the way you drive. You know, if you drive less than 40 miles in summer, you'll never burn gas except after a while, you know, the software knows the engine needs to run, the generator needs to run, whatever you want to call it, the motor, generator, engine, whatever you want to call it. It knows it has to run, so it'll force it to run for a while just to lubricate everything, even if you have a full battery. Then if the gas is a year old, which premium is required, plus the gas tank is special insulated and has special vacuum to it, but they still want the gas to be no more than a year old, they'll force the gas engine to run once a year until the gas burns out. You know, so it just all depends on your lifestyle, what kind of mileage you're gonna get. That's, that's what I got. We spent 40 biggins on electricity, Your cost per mile is going to greatly depend on your gas. You know how much gas you burn. Dang fire. Okay, let's uh, let's take the uh, gas portion off and let's see. Now we burned 5.6 gallons. I could do this in my head, but to make sure we get it right, I'm going to use this dumb machine. How much is 5.6 multiplied by 40? 5.6 times 40 is 224. How much is 2003 minus 224? 224. Okay, I know. It's 1776. Ooh, awesome number. Dang, oh, that's an awesome number. Good old 1776. Hey, so anyway, 1776 miles has been on electricity. I'm having trouble connecting to the network. I know, we're in the middle of nowhere. Blah, 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 blah. So 1776, 54, I mean forty dollars in electricity, probably for 1776. Anyway, I'm confusing myself now. I don't know what it costs. I have no idea. Figure it out yourself. <laughs> I'm all confused now on my numbers and whatnot. Boy, I sure I'm ignorant. Arkansas education, you know. What's up, feller? One good thing about only having one leg, you don't have to do yard work. My wife mows the yard. And our neighbor, I think she feel I think cause the neighbor feels sorry for her, he weed eats for her. The last place we lived, the neighbor would mow the front yard. He couldn't get in the back because of the fence, but he'd mow the front yard. I think cause he felt sorry for her too. Thinking that poor woman married to that old crippled bastard who can't do anything. Can't mow the yard. I could ride a riding mower, but we don't have a riding mower. And our yard's not that big. But anyway. I think our neighbors always feel sorry for that poor woman being made to an old cripple, having to do all the yard work by herself. Cause they always seem to, neighbors always seem to help her. Two different houses. Hmm. People sure are friendly here. You know, that's the thing, you know, you people don't know. You people that live in the North and whatnot. You know, man, people in the South, they really are friendly. We really are a friendly bunch of people. I had somebody from Michigan tell me, now this is just one person's opinion, she said, you know, if you talked 
to the cut if you were if you worked at Lowe's in Michigan and you talked to customers the way you do people would think you were kind of odd you know because man I talk to everybody I talk to customers strangers everybody like I've known them forever I just started talking to them you know and usually they'll talk back you know we have some good conversations with complete strangers it's just what goes on here but the young people of Arkansas freak the young people of Arkansas they're not man the tradition's dying I can tell and it saddens me it saddens me that our Kansans are get, you know the younger generation just don't do that ah, it sucks because it's a good way to live it's an awesome way to live whoever's in that truck right there I guarantee I could carry on a 10 minute conversation with them no problem at all put me in a room with 100 strangers and I'll feel completely at home I'll be talking to all of them Okay, let's talk about one more thing. My wife, Silverado, she's averaging 22 miles to the gallon the first 2,000 miles. Ooh, she put 2,000 miles on her vehicle just the other day, what I put on this tank. Odd. But anyway, how much is 2,008.8 .8 divided by 22? 2,008.8 divided by 22 is 91.3091. Alexa, multiply that by 1.99. 91.3091 times 1.99 is 181.7051. $181 it would have cost to push that truck this far. Or is that gallons? Nice cost. Muzzles, man, that's almost $200. Good gracious. Yeah. Oh, my God. She's going to start driving this car to work. She's going to start driving the Baltimore to work. Yep, yep, yep. You're going to have to. Because we're too poor to pay for that. Good gracious alive. Is that possible? Did I make a mistake? I didn't think it would be that much. How much is 2,000 divided by 22? 2,000 divided by 22 is 90.9091. That's true. Good Lord, good Lord. That's a lot, four times as much as this car. Almost. About 3.7, 3.75, 3.8 times as much. Just doing math in my head. You know, good gracious alive. Mm -mm -mm. Oh well. I guess she's happy with it. Okay, we're going to get home about four miles left. Drove uh, 40.3 there and back. I'm about 0.1 from the house. Lifetime, 215 miles to the gallon. All right, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And remember, chicks dig scars and electric cars. Of course, my chickadoo, she digs Silverados too. She likes trucks. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.